Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 3rd. Uh, this week, you have a very interesting week. Um, you know, I think you ha you've had some good things going on. Happy birthday to those Leos that have a birthday this week, by the way. And, uh, you know, let's just get started. I think a lot of you will be getting gifts. I mean, this month is kind of like a gift from the universe to you anyway for your birth month and I think you'll have a lot of good stuff coming in um, I, you know I'm saying the month even though this is a weekly reading I think the energy is going to carry on probably for the whole month um, but the eight of hearts is that's exactly what it is it's a gift from the universe it's it's kind of like karma balancing out like I think you've been working hard on something and you know finally you'll probably start to see some forward momentum and you know a lot of a lot of the energies returning to you a lot of the stuff that you've put out will now be coming back to you which is very you know very positive i think leo you know has been working on something and i think a lot of that is going to be coming back to you starting this week but i think it's a longer term energy overall i think it's it's a long term you know kind of message next you have the ace of diamonds which is uh, you know just a very stable financial energy coming in it can be a change for the better in your finances. Finance is getting better. It is very financial. Uh, you know, um, it, it does have a lot. This card is pretty much only money. That's it's only what it, the only thing it means. It means more money coming in. So you really can't complain about that. It's a uh, um, and it's always for the better. That's the thing. Is it's not like one or the other. It's always always you increasing your position. But also brings in a lot of stability. Like I said, it's brings with it more stability whereas some of the other money cards can bring in a lot of money but maybe it you know goes as quickly as it comes and, and things like that this just brings money that uh, can stick around so it's more stable it's more like you know a job type of thing that provides money for a long time or a business or your business finally making money things like that and having said that you have the ace of spades coming up next which you know I call this card the forest fire now because it represents exactly what happens after a forest fire. You know, during a forest fire, an entire forest gets burnt down. But, you know, that's the destruction part of it. And I think you've already been through this. The destruction, things burning down. I think a lot of you have lost jobs over the past, you know, I'd say, you know, a little while here. But, you know, maybe not even lost jobs. Just left with your own choice, on your own, by your own choice. Um, but I think you've been, for the past, like, two years, maybe kind of discovering a new uh, direction that you want to go in when it comes to your career or your job or your business. Uh, and I think you've had to go through this burning process uh, almost. And uh, this card represents what happens after a forest fire. You know, after a forest fire, the forest returns like a thousand times healthier and stronger and better than it was before the fire. Uh, you know, it clears everything out. It lays down a bunch of, you know, new fertile ground and, you know, everything grows back and it's like ten times more lush and, you know, the animals move back in and they have all this awesome stuff to eat now so that's like 10 times better um and that's the great news about this card is it brings all that new growth and new stuff in with it and i think you will be experiencing it starting this week again i feel like it's a longer term energy i don't think it's just going to be this week i think it's something that's going to kind of slowly pick up and finally you have the ace of club i mean i'm sorry the eight of clubs which is a very positive card it represents using your intuition um being very intuitive this week knowing things before they happen things like that but more importantly it's also a card that asks you to not say you know not stay stuck on one path uh, if you're trying to accomplish a goal, I feel like, you know, I feel like Leo is one of those few signs that doesn't really waver too often. I think they see a goal out in the future and and they really achieve, they really shoot to achieve that one goal. You know, whereas sometimes other signs will, they'll have one goal, but then they'll, you know, they'll switch back and forth and into a bunch of other things. I think Leo frequently works towards kind of one thing, and this could be in any area of your life love business finance your job whatever uh but this card says 
that you've been trying to reach this goal and you've probably been trying a certain method or, or something to get to that goal and it might not be working how you want it to. It might not be working out as well as you would like it to. Uh, this card just says there are many other options for you to get to that goal. You will be successful. I mean, you have a very successful week, so I don't see why not. And this card just says pick one of the options. It says don't get stuck trying to just do the same thing. Like if you're banging your head against the wall and it's not working, then, you know, try something else. That's what this card says. So overall, I mean, amazing, amazing energy, amazing week, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So thank you for watching this video.